Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to part 14 of Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, and yes, we are going to take on my favorite stage of the game, Yi Ling. I am so excited, I love this stage. This is his fake enthusiasm, folks. Every time I play this stage, it, it just makes me happy because this is the stage. That it's what well, Yiling was supposed to be in Dynasty Warriors 3. And what was supposed to be Yiling in Dynasty Warriors 6. But this, this did it right. Hell, even I played it in 7 and 7 was rather annoying. This one is the only one, I think 5 is the only other one too. This one was the only one that did it right. And with its uh, stage system, it just made Yiling a lot more bearable than what it did in any other playthrough of Yi Ling. I'm going to switch out to my character now because I'm done playing as Lu Jun. I don't think we need to go through great links in the later playthroughs just to uh, beat the game. Just I just need to play as my character and just dominate. But. Yi Ling has arguably the best theme in the game in Dynasty Warriors 4. And not only that, uh, this is where you have to do the fire attack. Now let me make a correction, because in the last part I thought the Nonmans were going to jump in to attack you. No, that's Shu's version of Yi Ling, and I got that confused. Actually, in Wu's version of Yi Ling, you will eventually have the Nanmans to come to your aid. And that's because Guan Yu's not going to be here. Because remember, back in Part 12, Guan Yu took Nan territory, robbing me of taking all three territories of Nan. So therefore, all we have to do is just set the entirety of Yi Ling on fire. To incinerate the and how do we do Those that exactly? We have to get to the point exactly. where... Uh, Lu Xu will want us to take down the watchtower so the fire team can actually do what they need to do. Oh yeah, by the way, if by any chance you have beaten all three territories of Nam and you took it from uh, Guan Yu, Guan Yu will show up here. And if you defeat Guan Yu, you don't have to worry about the battle of my castle. But if you don't, well, guess what? Guan Yu will be the final battle in the, the battle of my castle in this act. If things would have went the way it did, but it didn't. However, if this was the final act and not... Oh yeah, we're about to get into a duel with Wei Yan. By the way, blocking is your friend. Just want to point that out to you. But as I was saying, if I accept your talent. um you actually fight Wu in the Fall of the Three Kingdoms as opposed to the Fall of what I mean the Fall of Shu, sorry. Well, guess what? I just I, not only did I take out Wei Yan, no problem because my character is completely overpowered. Death. But guess what? Possible. Yi Ling would be the second to last stage of the game, and then you had a battle uh, Li Liu Bei and whoever survived Yi Ling in Chengdu. So bear that in mind. Oh, and we get ourselves another battle! This time with Yue Ying, Zhuge Liang's wife. Well, I accept your talent. thankfully this will be the only time we get to see her and Zhuge Liang. All right, Zhuge Liang is actually bonus experience points if you happen to beat him. Not only in a duel, but also if you actually beat him in a actual battlefield. So, as for his wife and most of the Musao officers, they will give you a lot of experience points if you beat him in duels. In fact, I just beat her in a duel right now. Farewell, my They'll husband. give out between 1,200 and 1,600 uh, 
experience points, not only on your weapons, but also on to your, uh, I would say on to your Do not be distracted by this <laughs> actual experience. So Hurry, bear that in mind, if you came in with, like, weak Enemy weapons, officer, they will be maxed out by the time you get here. Hell, if you went to the, um, Nomin campaign and grind on it a couple of times, your weapon should be maxed out by that time. Now then, here comes the actual test. We're going to have to destroy all of the watchtowers that happen to be in the vicinity. Doesn't matter what they look like. Doesn't matter. God damn it. It doesn't matter what kind of watchtower it is. You've got to destroy them all. Because if you don't, the fire attack team will end up running into um, all the piddling soldiers in uh who oh yeah by the way you can actually skip the fire attack and go straight for Liu Bei I shit you not and once you do and even though the fire attack did not go through uh you would practically have to face Zuko Liang and Ching Du if I'm not mistaken no 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 you don't no you don't no, you don't Ching Du is only if you actually um fought this as the last act but whatever the case, it's time for us to finish off uh, Huang Zong once and for all. Oh, and for the record. Damn it, damn it, stop that, stop that Huang Zong. Um, it's the next act that you will have to worry about the remnants of Shu. Well, I'm not sure if the remnants of Shu will show up or not. Because if I'm not mistaken, Guan Yu nor Zhang Fei did not show up in this battle. I'm surprised because normally they would. Oh, and I just beat Huang Zong. I need no grave. I will but become seeing as how they're not here, we pretty much took care of just about. Oh, right, Enemy that's right. Uh, Guan Yu, Zhang Fei, and Zhao Yu all appear in Yi Ling if you manage to defeat uh, the Battle of uh, Non Territory by taking all three territories. Because Guan Yu and Zhang Fei were under. Uh, no, Zhao Yu. No, it's Zhang Fei and Zhao Yu, sorry. Was under Guan Yu's um, forces. So there's that. And then you have to take on those three in the final battle of the act if you let Guan Yu live. But there's all the watch there's the watchtower right there. And the watchtowers that I'm destroying, those are the ones you need to destroy in order for the fire attack to actually be successful. And by the way, every battle you get into with the uh Shu soldiers, if you manage to beat them. That's plus four, plus eight. That's going to be added towards your attack and your defense. So, yeah. While Liu Bei will have high morale, it's still the fact of Liu Bei being extremely powerful. However, Zuba Liang will actually have high morale as well. Like the morale of Liu Bu in... Um, Hulao Gate, so bear that in mind come the end of the stage. We're about to break down the rest of these uh, watchtowers, and we kind of need to because these watchtowers are going to be filled with archers, and these archers need to be stopped. Oh, sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. That flickering means only one thing. A certain someone decided to use my cable for my... Uh, AV cable as a play toy. I mean, I love my cat to death, but there's just sometimes he does not need to use my AV cable as a play toy while I'm playing the game. And the fire attack should be successful now that I took out all the watchtowers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's time for us to take care of the rest of Shu. Thing is, we're going to have to go into the maze. Now, due to the fact that we actually... Uh, 
beat the Nanmen territory and destroy that captured Minghua seven times. No, did not capture Minghua seven times. Minghua will actually come to our aid and will help us in the Stone Sentinel maze. Sorry, I, I started this for a second. Make sure you also get the uh, Ma Liang too because we don't need him following us in the Stone Sentinel maze. That's the only way, unfortunately, you're going to have to get to Shu. Make sure you bring a horse, unlike me, who's stupid enough to leave his horse. Because even though you're traveling through the Stone Sentinel maze, there is the problem of uh, Liu Bei actually um, crossing the river once you get past the Stone Sentinel maze. Either you figure your way out, or you... Um, Oh wait, you gotta destroy all the statues. I think that may be one of the ways to destroy, you know, to actually clear a path out. But another way was to actually go to the Nami campaign. As much as I hate the Nami campaign, Crush it was blow. practically worth it because you will eventually be free from this maze. And once you follow Ming Hua, Oh, and by the way, there's a life up here <laughs> in the maze. Don't get me wrong. And for the record, part of the requ oh, the actual requirement for Lu Xun to uh, <clears throat> get the final weapon for himself was to clear this maze in three minutes. How ironic, considering the fact that we had to do that in Dynasty Warrior 6. And God, was that terrible. Oh, by the way, I cut out uh, the fact that the um, AV cable was acting up again. Because my cat came back in. So I had to put him out and cut the uh, audio there. Who's there. Well, cut the actual footage but this right here is what happens when you take too long in the maze and that who's there if you wait a long if you wait a little bit longer at, at the end of the maze I know uh, I did this wrong I really did but you need to be faster because going the back way is only gonna lead you to problems and by problems I mean an ambush party cuz yes Zhou Yun actually no wait no no wait no I didn't actually capture all three territories so no Guan Yu's not gonna show up however <clears throat> it is a problem due to the fact that uh, Zhuge Liang and Liu Bei travels extremely fast. So once I actually like turn back to the entrance, all the, oh, oh, actually all I needed to do was just stay right where I was and wait for the non-mins to show up. But I didn't because I didn't want this to turn into another 26 minute recording like the non-min terror. Well, actually that was 29 minutes, but still I didn't want it to be a long uh, recording due to the fact that I had to uh, process that part and while it did show up early this morning that took damn near nine hours to process I'm sorry but that was a long ass mission honestly I should cut out fluff like that unless something interesting happens and that's what I'm gonna do from here on in because there is one extra mission that's in free mode that I was going to do. No, I'm going to do all the missions in free mode, except for the ones that Wu has taken part in in this playthrough, as well as Shu and Wei. But I'm going to execute all the extra missions. But here's the thing. One particular mission, the Imperial Seal, is a time waster, plain and simple. It is a time waster because she had one or two options, breaking all the boxes or waiting till time expires. I'll be cutting out all the fluff unless something important happens, like finding some angel wine or dim sum. 
Other than that, we've come to bail you out. This way. Uh, now would be a good time to stop. On second thought, never mind. I had to deal with something uh, outside of the recording. But because of the fact that Ming Hua All broke forces. the Marched maze, the stone maze. now Zhugaliang has made a makeshift camp. bridge to uh, the castle where Sunjian is. If I would have went the back way on a horse, I would have actually caught up to Liu Bei and um, also caught up to Zhuge Liang. But since I didn't and I didn't think about it, I had forgot my goddamn horse. Now I'm going to have to go and get Liu Bei because as you can see in the top right hand corner of your screen on the mini map, Zhuge Liang has already made a beeline to the base and is already in the base. That is a pain in the ass, to be honest with you. And I'm sorry if I'm too loud to anybody who has a problem with my audio, but here's the thing. Uh, there is a bridge that's leading to uh, Sun Jian. One that they've made and the one that's going through the back way. You can actually go through the back way to cut these guys off. But if you went through... Um, the front way with the Nonmans, they'll actually aid you into attacking Zhuge Liang. Which, by the way, I didn't think about it until the last minute. And, oh god, I should have cut that out too. Uh, but with that said, we are going to be headed straight for <clears throat> we're gonna be headed straight for uh Shugalia. Uh, sorry. Well basically Shugalia because he's already here. What are you doing? This way I said. Now, uh he only says that if you're not following him. But if you are following him the Nonmans will actually make it easier for you to get to the base and deal with Zhuge Liang. So, with that said, here's the man himself. And Zhuge Liang has Clash Breaker. He also has high attack, high defense. He's pretty much like Lu Bu was in uh, Pulau Gate. Not to mention... Uh, you have Liu Bei also fighting you as well, so bear that in mind. So, with that said, you'll be able to make short work of Liu Bei. You'll be able to make short work of all of the officers that are there. But, uh, Zhuge Liang, not so much. Now, if you get in a duel with Zhuge Liang, which would happen if you actually had a horse and followed, um, Ming Hua. You would be in some serious trouble because Zhuge Liang hurts. He hurts terribly. Do you see what he's doing to my health right now? And I have near max defense. Just imagine if I actually beat Zhuge Liang. We're talking about a whopping 3,000 experience. But since I didn't and he retreated, I shall be That's the end of Yi Ling. And also the end of Shu. And also the end of Act 5. But if we would have beat Zhuge Liang, dear God, if we weren't hurting for experience. Oh, if we were hurting for experience, that would have given us a lot of experience. And if your weapon wasn't maxed out by the time you got here, beating Zhuge Liang, even though it would be damn near impossible without having a tiger amulet and a tortoise amulet at level 20. Beating Zhuge Liang would make sure your weapon would be maxed, as well as your stats, by the time you leave the stage. So with that said, ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we are done with Act 5. Join me in Part 15, as we take on the beginning of the final act of Dynasty Warriors for Musou, 
with the Battle of Fawn Castle. This is RV Man 985. See you guys next time.